full stop, sonora e. Akichi way. transition is taking place. One thing about nature, when it's time to change, when the seasons are changing, they always clean their mess for the new season to come in. And that's what's taking place now. I will like to read something. Very brief. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read Brave Buffalo. He's one of my favorite, but I'll read more on something else when we're out here meditating. How we should be thinking. And I may I may be, I may be pronouncing it wrong, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Wikasa, Wikasa, Wakan, Lakota Plains, literally holy men, used to refer to shamans because they are the persons who control the power of Wakan Tanka. The Wakasas Wakan seeks solitude where he can meditate and feel the earth move and talk. Excuse me. The Wikasawakan seeks solitude where he can meditate and feel the earth move and talk to the plants and hear their answers. As Lame Deer says, something flows into him and something flows from him. 
and what he sees with his eyes closed is what matters. So the word I'm, I'm sharing today is Wikisaw Wakan. And also I would like to share a term that you're all free to use and, and study and see how it applies in your life. And it's called Ren. Ren is from Huron of the Northeast. The spiritual power in an individual or a group. This is a contracted form of the widespread Iroquois term Orenda. All shamans possess Ren. Ren power seems to reside in and characterize institutions, ceremonies, or the total character of a person. More extrinsic than Oki, while suffused with Oki power, Ren power is more humanly organized, manipulated, less mysterious, and more predictable than Oki power. Now, you want to know what Oki power is, right? So, I'm going to read about Oki. Oki. And then later on, I may do a video. Well, I am going to do a video showing how this relates to all the, to the nations of the Southeast, to the Mississippi chieftains. And I'm, I'm going to start using Salagi words. I'm going to use Muskogean words. But right now, I'm using Lakota Sioux words, and I'll show you later pictures of some of these shamans. As a matter of fact, I, I'm ready to, to talk about a shaman now, but Oki, Iroquois, Northeast, and this is us too, this is, this is about us, top of color people. A spirit used to diagnose illness. This term is found in the early Jesuit records for this area. The Saokatas, call upon this spirit, the Saokatas, that's another word for shaman, Saokata. The Saokatas call upon this spirit which enters the body of the sick person and locates the disease. This spirit can appear in a dream or during a waking state but comes in a different form for each diagnostician, sometimes as an eagle, sometimes as a raven, and so forth. As such, each Saokata probably has a secret name for his oki the latter being a generic term. The forms inhabited by the Okis are called Aakuandi, Aakuandi by the Hurons, and Otsineketa, Otsineketa by the Iroquois of the Six Nations. Often in the Jesuit records, the Okis are also referred to as charms or fetishes. Fenton used Oki as a term for shamans among the Hurons and Hamedili. Uses Oki mean, uses Oki to mean a shaman's helping spirit as well as to mean spiritual power. Some authors equate the Okis with the Manitos. And that's, that's a whole another spiritual entity that, that a lot of nations, a lot of tribes, a lot of people here identified as the creator and what, you know, has been Christianized as angelical beings, like little brothers or sons or nephews with the, infused with this power as well, where we may interpret these deities in the elements, most definitely. So, <clears throat> pretty soon I'll, I'll be using Salagi terms. To, to express and to describe certain elements here and how we can um, get in tune with these elements and learn to um, apply this knowledge, apply this in our daily lives. Now, I'm gonna use Saokatas. Saokatas.
Saokatas, it's Iroquois. Diagnosticians, according to the Iroquois, illnesses come from three different sources. Natural causes, something needed by the soul of the patient, and sorcery. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Jesuit, the French Jesuits called these diagnosticians junglers or jugglers. When people become ill, they first consult the Saokata. Shimoni reports that the contemporary Iroquois Six Nations Reserve refer to these diagnosticians as Tayatowetta. which literally means he deliberates. The power of the Saokatas was originally attributed to a powerful spirit named Oki. According to the Jesuits, this spirit came in many different forms, an eagle, a raven, and so forth. Saokatas. And I mentioned Ren, Oki, these are power words. Once you learn and understand the formulas on how to use these words in your prayers, in your songs, in your just the way you're thinking because we emanate this power this this power this power resides in us it's time now we learn how to ignite it we learn how to activate this power within us stop calling on these foreign names it's time now we learn our our ancestral names been a minute since I've been out here so yes I've been bit by a few mosquitoes but like my son says there's nothing like a good itch all right everybody I love y'all stay upbeat be optimistic stay industrious until then my friend Talene. yeah